Hello guys, welcome to Zenematics. In today's video, we're going to discuss a major issue that many students face when they're coming from O levels to A levels. Many of you guys are thinking about taking A levels maths and are undecisive about it as yet. There are a couple of factors that you have to take into consideration before you decide whether you're going to take A levels maths or not. A levels maths is a very extensive and important syllabus for many fields that uh, if you're going to pursue accounts and finance, engineering, and many other aspects of uh, education. In this video, I'm going to answer a couple of questions that are going to be a litmus test for you guys to decide whether it is favorable for you to take A level maths or not. There are three major questions that we're going to answer in this video. Uh, the first one is that is this decision dependent upon your O-Levels result. Since many of you have given O-Levels exams just in June, uh, May and June, and you guys do not have your A-Levels result as of yet, I think this is the right time to start thinking about taking A-Levels maths or not. Because in my opinion, as we have seen in past, O-Levels grade for maths is not really a good indicator for the decision to take A-Level maths or not. Over the years, time and time again, we have seen many students make this mistake of taking A-Levels maths based on their O-Levels maths result. Over and over again, we have found students who have a really nice grade in O-Levels struggling with maths in A-Levels because it takes a total different skill set to perform in A-Level maths than it takes to perform in O-Level maths. So, this is the first question that you have to answer that your grade, your decision to take A-level maths should not be dependent upon your O-levels maths result. Yes, it is a good indicator if it's a low score because it makes things really easy. If you have a bad score in O-level maths, then you should definitely not take A-levels. That's a clear cut dis distinction. But if you do have a good grade in O-level maths, will it play a positive indicator for your decision? That might be yes, that might be no. That will bring us to our next question. Then if O-level grade is not a good indicator for your uh, A-level decision, then what is? What is that thing that will help you to identify whether you're going to take A-level maths or not? So I always um, suggest students uh, to think of it um, and rate them between, on a scale between a smart student and a hardworking student. So imagine a scale where on one end is a very smart student, a really smart, smart student who is able to um, grasp all the syllabus and practice everything right in the last weeks or last months before the exam. On the other hand, imagine a student who's a really good hard worker who plans his entire um, workload over the years and takes a small amount of workload every day on every week and stays consistent with that. On that scale, if you are towards a smarter student, it's not a good idea to take A-levels maths. You might ace your O-levels with that sort of a personality, but in A-levels, you're going to suffer a lot. The reason is the style of the syllabus content and the way you are assessed at A-levels. In A-levels, if you are not a hardworking student, if you have not practiced a lot of things, um, a lot of worksheets and a lot of past papers before going to the exams, and when I say a lot of past papers and worksheets, I mean you have to repeat them over and over again. You, you have to complete the worksheets once, twice, and in many cases, for harder topics, you have to do them thrice as well. So if you are a smart student who do not believe in a lot of hard work, that creates a lot of problem for you when you take A-levels maths because uh, in the beginning, things would seem fine. First two to three months would go okay since there will be lesser topics and it's easier to play the catch-up game. But as, as the time passes by, as you enter A2, one, the syllabus gets harder to grasp. Two, the amount of syllabus that you have to catch up to becomes more and more. In that scenario, you start losing the grip of the entire syllabus and you start performing really bad. So this is one thing uh, and I won't, I always tell my students not to make any false promises to themselves because this is a really important thing and you cannot change your personality overnight. Just because you're enthusiastic about taking A-levels maths 
do not make a false promise to yourself that you will become a hard worker. Yes, if you can gradually change your personality and become one, that would be really nice. But in my experience, many students just take that decision to convince themselves to take A-levels maths and they just tell themselves that, okay, I'll become a really hardworking kid um, as A-levels start. So if you do not already have the traits of a hardworking student, I would advise not to take A-level maths because it is going to stress you a lot and uh, you're not going to perform really well in the first years. Uh, so this is the second question that we answer. Then um, there is a very important uh, thing which I sometimes call a myth that I would like to bust for you, uh, that all good universities require maths. So this is a line which is actually a correct line, but it is misquoted out of context. All good universities require maths is a partial statement. It's not a complete statement, and that is why it is false. Yes, all universities do require maths, but they do require a good history in mathematics as well. They just don't, uh, they don't just require you to take maths as a subject. They're going to look at your transcripts as well. They're going to look at your monthlies, your internal scores as well, and that is going to play a big role. Many students misunderstand this statement, and what they understand from it is that, okay, when I'm going to send my application to university, they're just going to look at the subjects I'm taking, and they're going to base their decision upon that, which is wrong. The admission committee is going to see your subject selections and they are going to observe how well you are performing in your school internals. So if you have just taken A-level maths and you are not good at it and you are scoring C's or D's, it's actually going to play against you when the admission decision is going to be made. So this is a very important thing that you guys should understand. Uh, apart from that, there is one last thing everybody asks when you're going to take a subject. Everybody is concerned about what sort of a workload you guys are going to be looking at. So um, there is a rough ballpark figure that I will give you. Maths is a really uh, workload intensive subject. You have to do a lot of practice. It's not at all an easy subject, even if you're good at maths, even if you have taken add maths at O levels. So things are just going to be easier if you are a consistent hard worker. And by consistent, I mean you have to take up up to one or two hours of workload for mathematics every day for next two years. If you can make this commitment for yourself, to yourself, that would be the main component on which you're going to base this decision. So before you take A-level maths, you have to understand two to three things. It's a really heavy course. It's not at all an easy course which you can take with other heavier courses. And if you think it's like really essential to your, compo uh, you know, um, other uh, slabus components that you're taking. So, for example, you're taking sciences and you, you feel that you have to go to engineering and maths is a compulsory subject in that combination. Are you planning accounts and finance and you feel like that mathematics is going to be essential in your combination? In that case, you have to sit down and you have to take some serious decision takings and you have to make some serious promises with yourself that you're going to take this workload for the next two years. Otherwise, it's, going, it's, it's definitely going to go downhill from here onwards and we see this every year happening to really good students. So if you're going to take maths, really important stuff is first understand how important is maths to your combination if you're going to apply to universities? Don't just take it for the value that, oh, universities prefer maths. Yes, universities prefer maths, but they prefer students with a good history in maths. They prefer students with good internal grades in maths. So that is the first component that you have to understand how important it is for you to take maths. Secondly, if you are going to take maths, you have to make a commitment to yourself that you're going to work hard, you're going to put in a lot of effort for upcoming next two years, it's not going to be an easier course. So with these things in mind, if you still agree to take maths, then I wish you all the luck, and I, um, I will advise you to take maths then. So this is how you, you are going to take the decision to take maths for A-levels. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you. Allah Hafiz.